Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an error message in Epic Games that says, sorry, there was a socket open error. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to check the Epic Game server status. So open up a web browser of your choice, and I'm going to have a link in the description of my video here, guys, to the Epic Games server status check. This is directly hosted on epicgames.com. You can go directly to the game publisher here, and it should tell you what the status of all of their systems here are. And if you're still having a problem after a couple minutes, I would consider refreshing the page here and just make sure the status has not changed. It may take a couple minutes in order for errors or issues with the servers to show up here. And you may want to consider expanding a little plus sign next to each service just to make sure that everything is operational. So pretty straightforward process on that front, guys. And honestly, if there's any issues in here, there's really nothing you can do about it except just giving it some time and just be patient, and then it should be able to resolve itself on its own. Something else we could try here as well, if you're still having a problem, and maybe you're having problems with other websites as well, is just to reset your network settings back to default. So if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, once we're done doing our next steps or next part of the tutorial, you will need to restart your computer and you will need your Wi-Fi credentials to get back online once your computer has restarted. So make sure you have them nearby before you proceed with the next step of this tutorial. So once you have them, go ahead and open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, check them back with settings, go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select network and internet. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down underneath advanced network settings and go ahead and left click on that. And then underneath more settings, you want to select network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. So this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select Yes. And then go ahead and close out of anything that's currently open on your system and go ahead and restart your device. So hopefully at this point your issues should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.